transported to the local hospitals via the city's mass transit buses, while those in more severe condition were transported by ambulance after appropriate decontamination procedures. As the last of the walking wounded are evacuated in decon, the Evansville Fire Department's Level A Hazmat team prepares to make entry. With the realization that this may have been a terrorist attack and that the bad actors may still be in the building, the Evansville Police Department SWAT team is deployed with respiratory protection. Back out, back out. Get a device. 
Okay. Go ahead, back up. We'll, we'll get, get a hold of the bomb squad. In room 2600, you have a device. practice scenarios that we would uh, normally have to uh, go through the paces of in a true emergent situation. Both Deaconess and St. Mary's hospitals maintain their own hazmat and technical decon capability policy and procedure for both hospitals is that patients will be deconned before entering the hospital in addition to any on-scene decon received. emergencies, bioterroristic emergencies, mass casualty if it's a traumatic situation. Okay, go. It's going to red. Both hospitals also operate under the incident command system.
Exercises play a crucial role in preparedness, providing opportunities for our local emergency responders and planners to practice and assess their collective capabilities, as well as benefit from lessons learned and best practices. Operation River Bend was a joint effort of our local emergency planning committee, our emergency management agency, and the Indiana Department of Homeland Security. The full-scale exercise was an opportunity to develop, sustain, and provide feedback on the tasks that compose crucial emergency response operations. It was a learning experience that allowed our first responders to re examine the unique aspects of responding to terrorism and hazmat incidents. Our goal with this exercise was to evaluate how our local public safety agencies managed our response to a hazmat incident and how they interacted with the local emergency operations center. Through this exercise, our public safety agencies gained an objective assessment of their capabilities so that gaps, deficiencies, and vulnerabilities are addressed prior to a real incident. 